On Tuesday, we talked about a local nonprofit that's receiving $2 million to address health care workforce shortages and provide training resources that led to employment. Tonight, Cora Dickey is live in the studio to discuss a staffing shortage found in local hospitals and what can help remedy the employment gap. Cora. That's right, Rob. The major hospitals in our area are in need of medical assistance. As urgent as it is to have a full staff, the direct care comes from quality training. According to healthcare workers, the global pandemic is causing a labor shortage in the medical field. Community hospitals experiencing this firsthand and is looking to fill 96 positions. Jobs are open in multiple departments, including the intensive care unit. A number of them are entry level, but community hospital doesn't want to sacrifice quality for the sake of urgency. While they may be more entry level in healthcare, they still require a level of education and certification. Um, and then we have a number of requisitions for registered nurses. Of the positions open at the hospital, a number of them are certified nurse aides. CNA positions are often healthcare workers' first jobs in the field, but those positions require experience. The Western Colorado Area Health Education Center serves as a segue for men and women to get the training and exposure needed for the workplace. The nonprofit will use the $2 million grant for resources to grow its program. The main goal is to prepare students for careers in medical assistance. We're finding really great luck in getting them employed, or even if they're working at a facility and they would like to be promoted and step up and be a certified nurse aide, we can do some incumbent worker training as well. The need to fill these positions is just getting started. Mesa County Workforce Center expects to see a 17% increase in healthcare occupations over the next 10 years. Now, if you're looking to start or move forward in a healthcare career, I'll have information on the training resources and open jobs in our area at westernslopenow.com. Reporting first on the Western Slope, live in the studio, I'm Cora Dickey with KREX5 News.